Welcome back to the Tomarosa. It is raining outside today and we are not going to work on our barn. We decided we would go back in time and show you a really awesome trip we took back in 2012. We actually went to the islands of Guernsey and Jersey. So here are some photos and we'll talk about what we saw on our trip. In case you didn't know, Jersey and Guernsey are located in the English Channel between England and France close to Normandy. We got all set to go on our trip and we both had one backpack and that's all we had during our week of travel. We flew out of Portland, Oregon nonstop uh, to Amsterdam. I believe it was about a nine hour flight and that was extremely long, but we did upgrade to the Economy Plus seats, which was totally worth it. Once we got all the way across the Atlantic, we landed in Amsterdam and then backtracked to Birmingham where we flew out to Guernsey. Guernsey had a beautiful airport and instead of taking some time to rest up from jet lag, we hit the ground running. Uh, we were on a dairy that afternoon. We were lucky enough to visit the only farm that did an organic dairy on Guernsey, with Guernsey cows of course. The Guernsey cow is a uh, light brown colored cow, usually with some white markings. Uh, it, like the Jersey, has a very rich milk, but Guernseys are a little bit bigger than Jerseys. We were able to get a walkthrough of their milking parlor and look at all their different cows and also had a chance to walk around their fields. In America, we're used to farms having large tracts of land. In Guernsey, because it's such a small country, it's only 25 square miles, they do not have that. Many of the fields are really small, only one to two acres, and they're surrounded by hedgerows, which are protected. And so the farmers, in order to have enough ground to graze and raise feed, have to rent other parcels, and they could be scattered all over the island. We really enjoyed meeting this family in Guernsey. Part of our trip was that we wanted to stay and visit real dairy farms and not just uh, do touristy things. For our one night on Guernsey, we stayed at the La Roche Bed and Breakfast, which was a wonderful place to stay. It had great accommodations. Of course, there was breakfast in the morning and tea. Got a chance to get caught up on writing in my journal, and then it was time to get ready to head off to Jersey. Before catching the ferry to Jersey, we did have a little more time to explore Guernsey. They had cows on parade, Guernsey cows of course, and otherwise we just hung out near the harbor. Then it was time to catch the ferry to Jersey. I don't remember how long the ferry ride was, but I don't think it was that long because I think we were outside most of the time. And of course there's aids to navigation to look at. Once we were on Jersey, we rented bikes and we took off, headed for another dairy farm. We were lucky enough to be hosted in Jersey by Anne Perchard on her beautiful farm. Anne Perchard is pretty remarkable in the Jersey world. Uh, she was president of the World Jersey Cow Bureau. She had presented a Jersey cow to the Queen. Uh, she was awarded an MBE, which is a member of the Order of the British Empire. She was just a very ardent supporter of the Jersey breed and her Ansem herd is still very renowned today. I believe the main house had been built in the 1820s and it was just gorgeous inside but very comfortable. And notice what piece takes front and center on the mantle there. We had a great place to stay and then one of the things I loved was that some of the stone floors were original and were very worn. They had an amazing August stove there, which I loved but could never have in our farmhouse. It generated a lot of warmth though for all around. This is Anne's sticker window, which inspired me to have my sticker door here on the farm. I had the amazing experience of being able to sing with Anne during her choir practice in their church, which was probably like a thousand years old. Literally like a thousand years old. Of course, the main reason we were there was Jersey cows, and Anne took us all over her farm showing all the Jersey cows that they had all over the place. It was all Jerseys all the time.
it was amazing walking around with Anne on her farm and just listening to her stories from her decades of raising Jersey cows. She has seen more Jersey cows than I will in my lifetime. Both Guernsey and Jersey were occupied by the Nazis during World War II from 1940 to 1945. And Anne Prashard lived through the Nazi occupation. On her farm, in fact, she showed us the remains of a Nazi bunker. And uh, it was just astounding to listen to her stories about what it was like living during that time. I remember two stories that she told me about that time. The first was how when the bomber planes were coming to occupy, she was so proud because she was the fastest and she was the first one to get under the wagon in the field that they were in. And then the other was how her father had a secret radio and would listen to broadcasts. And he kept it such a secret that nobody in the family knew he had this radio until after the war. Another story that Anne recounted was how after the Nazis had occupied Jersey, they tried to bring in some cattle that were not Jerseys. I believe they were Normandies from Normandy, France. And while the Jersey people were willing to suffer under Nazi occupation, you didn't dare mess with their cattle. They pretty much revolted and got the Normandy cattle kicked off the island, thus maintaining the purity of the Jersey breed. Anne also showed us around the island a bit, including a trip to the Royal Jersey Agricultural and Horticultural Society. We also had the chance to visit these famous bronze statues of the Jersey cow. The one I'm standing by is actually modeled after one from Anne's herd. In addition to Ann's dairy, we also visited the farm of Classic Herd, a Jersey's only producer handler. Uh, they have a Jersey herd, of course, and they bottle their own milk and make cheese and stuff. And they had this wonderful farm shop, which I understand has since closed, uh, but they still do process their own milk and sell it on the island. We had a great time getting around Jersey on the bikes. Some of the lanes were kind of narrow, which, when a lorry had to come along, made things tight. With the entire country only being 5 by 9 miles, we found bikes the best way to get around, and we had a good time just riding around, looking at cows. Uh, one thing that we'd see all over the island are these stone objects that's like a circular trough with a big stone wheel, which we later found out were actually used for grinding up apples to uh, make like cider and stuff. But of course, the thing we were most excited to see was just Jersey cows all over the place. We would just ride around and see them grazing here and there. We also did a bunch of hiking around Jersey and it's just it's amazingly beautiful place it's got this rugged uh, north shore that is just amazing and these small towns on these harbors that we would visit and it was just a pretty special place good things do have to come to an end. After about a week of traveling, we did have to come home, but we will always keep our memories of Guernsey, Jersey, and Anne, and all the people we met in our hearts. Whilst we were over in Jersey and Guernsey, we did pick up a few knickknacks to bring back home to remind us of our awesome trip we had. And the first being in Guernsey, this is called a Guernsey can. It's for holding milk. This is a, a pint but they made them much larger, you know, in the several gallon range. And this is copper and it's lined with tin. And this is what they kept their milk in, in Guernsey. And then from Jersey, we decided to buy this, which is a really beautiful porcelain cow. And it's got a lot of really great detail. And so this is what we use 
from Jersey. And most of the time when you find cow stuff out there, it's all Holsteins. It was an amazing trip to Guernsey and Jersey and really uh, invigorated us towards pursuing our dairy goals. And just going back and looking at the pictures uh, over the past few days to make this video, I uh, brought so many memories back that just flooded in. That was the funnest thing ever. Uh, unfortunately, the woman that we were able to stay with, Anne, she did pass away a couple years after we visited, and so we were so thankful that we were able to go see her and stay with her during that time. <laughs> like many things in life, sometimes the harder it is to get somewhere, the much more enjoyable a trip it is. We had a great time on our trip to the Isles of Guernsey, New Jersey, and recommend it for anybody else who wants to go there. Thanks for joining us as we went back and uh, reminisced on our trip to the islands of Jersey and Guernsey. Hopefully the weather improves soon so we can get back to building a barn, but until next time, stay tuned and thanks for joining us on the Tom Marosa. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and we'll see you next time.